Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to demo the brand new Perfect Portrait Cinema LUTs for you in Photoshop. Usually LUTs are used for video files but you can actually use them in Photoshop as well and they're kind of like they're kind of like actions or presets a little bit. So I'm going to actually demo three of them for you here in Photoshop and show you how easy they are to apply to your photos. So I have this photo right here and I kind of want to make like a cool little uh, cool little blue tone to it. So what I'm going to do is go down here to my adjustment layers down. I'm going to click the little half circle down here. I'm going to click there and I'm going to choose the color lookup. I'm going to choose color lookup there and it's going to provide a color lookup properties box here and you're going to see where it says 3D LUT file. I'm going to click on load 3D LUT and I'm just going to load another one so I'm just going to click load 3D LUT here again and it's going to bring up a dialog box to allow me to choose my LUTs. Now when you purchase these LUTs from Sleek Lens you're going to see that you get two, uh, two kind of objects in your folder here. You're going to get a LUTs folder that has all of the LUTs here and you're also going to get a PDF which is a lookbook which allows you to see what the LUTs will look like when you apply them to your photos so you don't have to apply a bunch of them just to see what it does. You're going to get a before and after here. So I'm just going to click on the LUTs file here and for this image I'm going to do one that is called Blue Haze down here. I'm going to click on Blue Haze and you get four different file formats here. Uh, for Photoshop you can really just choose any of them. I always just choose the cube file here so I'm going to click on the dot cube file and choose open. And you're going to see that instantly it applies a cool tone to the photo. You you can see this is the before, this is the after, and it just applies this uh, this cool tonal range to your photos. Now, if you think it's too much and you want to dial it back, you can actually take the opacity and you can dial the opacity back, and you can see it starts bringing in more of the original image, or you can keep it at 100 and it'll be uh, the, the effect right there. Uh, what's great about this is you can also do more adjustments to it. You can do your standard adjustments, doing vibrance, hue, saturation, curves, levels. You can do all that stuff on top of this particular effect so that's really kind of cool so that's as easy as it was to apply this cool kind of effect to your photo so let's let's just do another one here i'm going to go to the uh this photo right here it's kind of a cool photo to me there's a little bit too much yellow and orange in the photo so we're going to kind of mellow that out a little bit so again i'm going to do the same thing click on my little half circle icon down here and go to color lookup click on load 3d lut click on load 3d lut again and now I'm going to go back to my LUTs here, and I'm going to choose the, uh, let's, let's sort it there. I'm going to do Cinematic Love right here. Click there and choose the cube file. And you can see it kind of darkens the shadows a little bit, puts a little bit more blue in the uh, in the image, kind of fades out a little bit of the blacks there. So this is the before. This kind of looks like a kind of a, a, a simple snapshot. And this kind of adds that cool cinematic tone to your portrait photos. Really, really kind of nice. I really like the way that looks. So let's look at one more here. I'm going to go to this image here. Really great image. I want to add a little bit of contrast to it. I also want to add a little bit more toning to it as well. So I'm going to do the same thing. Click down here, choose Color Lookup. Choose Load 3D LUT again, and I'm going to go back here, and for this one I'm going to choose the Cinematic Fade LUT here. So I'm going to click here, choose the Cube file, click Open, and you can see it really kind of fades in. It adds a little bit of contrast, but also fades in, so these uh, this black shadow area is not as harsh. It really creates a nice, cool fading effect, and it was really that easy to apply these LUT files to your images. So I can actually take the opacity down more if I wanted to, to bring more of that in. Or I can go down here and maybe add some uh, vibrance to your photo, pop that up a little bit, and it looks really kind of cool. So this is the before, and then this is the after. So if you want to check out more of these perfect portrait cinema LUTs, head on over to sleeklens.com, link in the description down below. You can see more before and afters there, and get more information about these cool, awesome LUTs. So thank you for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next video.